In this problem, we're being asked to write an equation in this particular form, ax plus b equals c, to solve this word problem. And in a problem like this, there's always some starting amount, and that is going to go where the b is, some constant number, some beginning point. And then there's always something that changes, and that's going to go where the a is, and that thing that changes gets multiplied by the variable. And often that variable has to do with a time period. So if something happens every hour, it changes by a amount every hour. Let's read this one and see what we've got here. It says Linda is saving money to buy a bike that costs $133. She has 42, so that's what she's starting with, and will save an additional $7 each week. Uh, so this is what's changing according uh, to the time period. So the time period here is weeks. And you can see in the problem here, they've actually, they're using W as the variable instead of X. And that's fine. We can use any letter we want. W stands for weeks, I guess. And the question is, in how many weeks will she have enough money to buy the bike? To set up this equation, we're going to put the amount that uh, Linda starts with in place of B. So that's our 42. We're going to place the amount that the thing is changing each time period up here. So this is $7 she's adding each week, so 7 times the number of weeks. And then what goes here in this case is going to be the total amount of money she needs to buy the bike. So we'll put $133 in there. So whatever she saves, whatever number of weeks she saves $7 plus the 42 has to add up to the total cost of the bike. If we solve this for W, it's going to tell us how many weeks it'll take to do that. So here, they want us to choose the, the right form. Is it something times w plus something or something times w minus something? In our case, it's something times w plus something. And we can fill in the letters here. It's 7w plus 42 equals the total cost of the bike, 133. And then we need to solve it. So to solve this equation, I'll just rewrite it down here. 7w plus 42 equals 133. We want to subtract 42 from both sides. And I think that's going to be 91. So 7w equals 91. And then we can divide both sides by 7. And let's see, 7 times 10 is 70. Three more 7s would be 21 plus 70. That'd be 91. So I can do this without a calculator. w should be 13. So in 13 weeks, Linda will have saved enough to buy that bicycle. So that is how to write an equation in this particular form to solve a word problem.